Hello my wonderful people! My name is CJ Wade and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hello friends, family, and enemies. <laughs> I know you be watching my videos. <laughs> Anyways, so today I wanted to talk kind of about like my poetry books how I wrote them, how I've published them, um, kind of like my story with them, because I've gotten some questions about them. So, um, kind of like a background, so I've been writing poetry since I was like 15, honestly. Like, I kind of wrote poetry like it was a diary. Um, it was always super easy to me, it was always really easy for me to tell, for me to explain what I was feeling, for me to be able to put my emotions into words. Um, it was kind of a gift, like, from the get-go. So I just kind of wrote poems, like, without even really knowing what I was doing. And so I was doing that basically since I, like, learned how to write. And then I started writing more in middle school and in high school. And my sophomore year of high school, I had kind of collected all of my favorite ones. And I was posting them on, like, Tumblr and Pinterest and stuff like that. And one of my really good friends was really going through it and I was like, you know, I don't know if these will help but like I've gone through something similar and these are the poems that I wrote because of it. And I gave her like, I like printed out the poems and it was like, like 11 or 8 by 11 whatever printer paper and I gave her them and I was like, here, like I hope you enjoy. And I was like, I just hope you know that you're not alone and I hope that these words like resonate with you didn't really think anything of it and she came back the next day and she was like I stayed up until 2 in the morning reading these like I don't think you understand how much your words have meant to me I don't think you understand how much these words have affected me and I realized that I'm not alone and you put things in words that I've never been able to explain and I was like whoa like that's kind of crazy since it came so naturally to me I guess I never realized how powerful the words that I was writing were and, I mean, don't get me wrong, some of them were absolute garbage, but I have a couple good ones every once in a while. She was like, you need to get these out, like, you need to, like, read these, you need to, like, post these, you, like, people need to read these, people need to see this. And I was like, I was 15, and I was like, that's scary, like, this is, like, my diary, like, these are my emotions, my words, my feelings. Um, my pain like written in these papers and so I was hesitant and then I was like you know what like let's just organize them and like let's just see what happens and so I did I organized my poems and I decided on chapters so for my first book darling was the first book that I ever wrote and I found words that were really rare um, or that had like a very deep meaning the chapters I can't even pronounce half the words in the chapters to be honest but they all had like really deep meanings. I actually just gave out like my own personal copy of Darling, so I don't have it on me at the moment, but I do have the original. Okay, so the table of contents, um, a really long word, and then it's the fear of fail. So, okay, so they're all like deep words. Half of them I can't pronounce, um, but they're, the meanings of them are like the reasons that I picked them. So the first one is the fear of failure, and the second one means beauty is more than skin deep, and the third one means no longer feeling affection for someone you once loved. The fourth one is a battle against imaginary enemies fighting your shadows, and the sixth one is, fifth one? And the fifth one is hiding a place of safety and comfort and so I kind of did this because these singular words meant so much more and had such a deeper meaning than it was portrayed to be and so then I started organizing the poems into different chapters so I put the heartbreak ones and the no longer feeling affection for someone you once loved I put the like self-love ones as beauty is more than skin deep so I like organized them so I got um I like have been drawing my semicolon tattoo on my wrist since I was like 14, 13. Um, it was always something that resonated with me. And so I was like, okay, well, I need a title. Like, my whole life, I've kind of always loved the word darling. Like, my nana always called me it, and it was something that my mom had called me, and I started calling people it. I was like, that's perfect. Darling. It's like a... I feel like the word itself is such, like, a sweet, pure, innocent... It's just a I love you, I care for you word. If you call someone darling, it's, like, sweet and, I don't know, thoughtful, I guess. So I came up with darling, and then I was like, you know what? All right, 
I'm gonna do it like I'm gonna publish this book and so I was 15 so like I had like five dollars to my name and I was going around like trying to find publishing companies and all that kind of stuff and it was really hard to find publishing companies as a 15 year old <laughs> and so I heard of like Amazon and like Kindle Direct Publishing and all that kind of stuff where you could self publish and I was like you know what this is a great start it's free I get paid for it my words are out there like that's all I wanted I just wanted the world to see my words so then September, my sophomore year of high school, I figured out everything and I published my first book. And it was really scary, but it was so like, I don't know. I want to say life changing, but that's like really kind of like cheesy. <laughs> um, so I did it. And then I got a lot of really, really positive feedback. It was kind of crazy. I started selling. I was selling like 500 copies like a month. It was like wild. It was international. It was like, it was so crazy. And Amazon has like a map of all the places that like people bought it from. And I was getting like euros and like all that kind of stuff. And it was just, it was crazy. And I was like, wow, people are like, people are opening my books as a gift for their birthday or they're opening them on Christmas morning and people are reading them and knowing that they're not alone. And like that alone kind of changed my life Cheesy. to know that people were reading my words and were being affected by it in such a positive way and so i was like okay well i don't want to stop and i kept writing um and i tended to write the most after like breakups oh, obviously that's when i was feeling the most and all that kind of stuff so i wrote a lot about heartbreak in the following two books so i wrote darling when i was 15 and then i wrote spine full of medicine when i was 16 and i came up with that title because the spine of a book and poetry has always been like medicine to me so it's a spine full of medicine i was really proud of that book and then my senior year when i was 17 i published silent thoughts it's kind of just like the title like it was just thoughts that i had had that i never really outwardly spoke about um but i loved writing about that was like the deal for those three in high school and then i took a break from writing for a little while i kind of had like writer's block i didn't really have anything to write about i even when i tried like i couldn't think of anything and then all of a sudden everything just kind of came back to me someone like came into my life that brought that spark back and all of a sudden i would be talking to them and i would just have like a million poem ideas like going through my head and it was kind of crazy because i was like oh, i haven't written in like two years this is so uh, like i miss this i miss the poetry being easy because i never wanted to force myself to write poetry because then at that point it wasn't good it was like the poems that I've written because I forced myself to write they're not good they're not descriptive they're not heart-wrenching you know they're just like emotionless kind of because I was forced I like forced myself to and poetry shouldn't be forced and so that leads me to where I am now and I am writing my fourth book right now I'm super super excited about it I'm about halfway through it's kind of the backstory to do it um like I said I went through Amazon I eventually want to go through a publisher but it costs money I might not have five dollars to my name but I definitely don't have enough money to publish through a publishing company right now just because I'm still paying tuition and rent and all that kind of stuff. I'm doing school full time so it's a little hard to find like that type of cash but um, I want to eventually go through a publishing company. Um, it's just been like kind of crazy to be able to look up my name on the internet and it says like author under it. Uh, if you look up Camion Wade because I publish all my books under my full name so if you look up Camion Wade on Amazon or Google like they all come up and it's just like it's super cool to know that other people are reading my words. Um, it's still scary sometimes because like I said, I pour myself into my books. They are my diaries. Like it is as vulnerable as I've ever been and I'm literally like giving them to strangers. But if one person is affected in a positive way, then that vulnerability is a million times worth it and I would do it over and over again. And so I plan on publishing this next book within the next six months. Um, I, I just like want to make sure it's perfect. Um, I definitely learned a lot when I published the first couple at such a young age. Um, I learned more about editing and proofreading and what I want this book to look like. So I'm kind of taking it slow and making sure that it's perfect before I publish it. But I'm super, super excited about it. Um, I can't say the title or the idea because it's like, I get so excited. But um, I will eventually, obviously, like you'll find out eventually. But I'm super, super, super excited. If you have any questions about publishing books or writing poetry or if you want to read them like anything like the links will all be down below for my books um but feel free to dm me on instagram tiktok whatever 
I'd love to talk to you about it. It's like one of my favorite things to talk about. And I don't really bring it up that often because it's like poetry doesn't come up in my everyday conversations and it's kind of hard to be like, oh yeah, like I have some books, like whatever. And so, yeah, if you like have any questions or you want to do it yourself or like anything like that, just let me know. And yeah, so I hope you check them out. Like I said, they're literally my diary. So <laughs> enjoy. But yeah, I will see you guys soon. Hopefully, come back for more. Deuces!